Hi all, welcome to my channel. Today I will give introduction about the chemical bonding series. I have planned to start the chemical bonding series because it is very important topic in chemistry. In 12th it is also a very important portion in 12th chemistry. We have planned to idea about prepare NEET or JE exam. Then chemical bonding is again very important topics. Not only the school levels, in college levels also, higher studies also, chemical bonding is a very important topic. So let, I have planned to start the chemical bonding series. And I will give you today just introduction video. We know the carbon. Carbon is in the, exists in the different form. Carbon exists in the form of diamond, graphite, and then coal. Why this different is arise? Carbon exists in the form of diamond means it is shining, very okay, very strong. But it is not graphite is not similar like gra diamond. Why this different properties is arises? Then we know very well chem carbon. Carbon is react with chlorine means it form the immiscible heterogeneous solution. But same chlorine react with the sodium then it is form the homogeneous solution sodium chloride. One carbon is react with the four chlorine then only it is form the stable compound. But one sodium is enough to react with one chlorine to form a stable compound. Why these differences arise? Why not NaCl2? Why not CCl? Okay, it's not a stable compound that we discuss in this chemical bonding series videos. Then most important, why the atoms or molecules are held together? Why they are attached to each other? What are the forces exist in, between them? Okay, why this molecule having the different arrangement and the different shape? Like CO2 is linear, H2O is V-shaped molecule. Why these different shapes are arranged? We discuss in this series videos, chemical bonding videos. Then hydrogen exists in the form of H2, not in the form of H3. And then hydrogen exists in the form of H2, not in the form of molecule. That means hydrogen exists in the molecular form, but helium only exists in the atomic level. Why? Why that the H helium molecule possible? These all are explained in this chemical bonding concept. This I have planned chemical bonding topics in this different different sections. First, I have planned to start the Lewis approach. Then second video we discuss acted rule, formal charge, bond angle, bond order, different of chemical bonds like ionic, covalent and then all the bonds, okay, coordinate bond. Then dipole moment, three important theory, VB theory, that means valent bonds theory, VSPR theory, valence electron per repulsion theory, MOT theory, molecular orbital theory. We cover these topics. Then how I, how I plan this means, I just uh, cover the topic and then end of the topic, I will give the important question with answers. Okay, sure. I I assure you this video, this series video will help you. Just I will give the sample topic today. See, we know very well the bond order. Bond order is calculated by using the uh, chemical bonding formulas. Chemical bonding. See here. In here, I will discuss the bond order for the resonance structures. Resonance structures mean benzene, naphthalene, anthracene, these are compounds having the resonance structures. So how we determine the bond order for the resonance structure? Today I will give the sample topic. So bond order is calculated by using the formula. Total number of bonds between two atoms in all structures. Total number of resonating structure. You can get the my point? If you can confused, let's see the example, you get the idea. See here, benzene bond order. See benzene having the two resonance structure. Resonance structure 1 having, if you fix the position, any 2 carbon, please understand, any 2, it is the, it is a double bonded compound, see here, so you just to fix the position of any 2, see if you choose 1 and 2 here, then again, again second uh, resonance structure also, you maintain the same position 1 and 2 here, here I choose the position 1 and 2 in this side, so in resonance structure, second structure also, I maintain this same, so if you choose these, then again this one side also, second structure also you choose. So this is the important point here. Where you start the position, you keep on maintain the position of the bond. That means 1 and 2 means, this is the 1 and 2 on the second structure. If you choose these two is 1 and 2 means, then you keep on the same position on this second structure also. So 1 and 2, this one 1 and 2. So resonance structure 1 having the 2 bond, correct? Double bond. Resonance structure 2 having the 1 bond. So total number of bond here is 3. Okay, total number of bond here 3, number of bond 3 and then bond order is total number of bond divided by total number of resonance. Up 2 by 3, sorry, 3 by 2 we get the 1.5. So bond order for benzene is 1.5. If you not get clear, we see the another example also naphthalene. See in naphthalene I fix this position is constant. So 1 and 2. 
so this is 1 and 2 in this naphthalene fix the second carbon 1 and 2 1 and 2 right the naphthalene having the three resonance structures so in this three resonance structure how many bond is possible see here 2 3 5 so total number of bond is 5 total resonance is 3 so 5 by 3 1.66 naphthalene bond order is 1.66 now you may get the idea see now you get the formulas clear right see the formula total number of bonds between two atoms in all structure total number of bonds between two atoms in all structure I have to mention see next one carbonate ion in this carbonate ion three resonance structure is possible one two three in this three resonance structure see the bond number of bond two three four if you want to fix this is 1 and 2 means again you have calculated that you get the same value only 1, th 2, 3, 4 right the bond order remain uh, number of bond remain same wherever you choose the position if you choose these two also you get the same value only so fix the position 1 and 2 then count the number of bonds ok see total number of bond here 4 having the resonance structure 3 so 4 by 3 we get the answer 1.33 carbonate ion having the 1.33 bond order next one ozone ozone having the two resonance structure so resonance structure is 2 bond number of bond here 2 sorry 3 so first one having the 1 second one having the 2 2 plus 1 3 so 3 by 2 1.5 so like benzene ozone also having the same bond order 1.5 azide ion azide ion having the three resonance structure in this three resonance structure first structure having the two bond second structure having the three bond then third structure having the three bond sorry one bond so i fix this position so 1 4 5 6 so total number of bond is 6 total number of resonance is 3 so 6 by 3 2 azide ion resonance a bond order is 2 See, this is an easy way to calculate the bond order. So, I just uh, give the sample introduction video today. So, next video, we will start the chemical bonding series. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and then give your support. Thank you. This is your, sorry, once again, why? This is your homework. Then, anthracene. Anthracene value find out means if you get the values 1.75. Nitrite, 1.5 bond order. Nitrate, 1.33. If you have any doubt on this, Please comment in this comment box. I will explain you. Then don't forget. Please subscribe and give your support. Thank you.